we miss her dearly every minute of every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I miss her when I come here. I spend so much time with her here. I know. She would do this thing with both of us that was so amazing, heartwarming. We'd go up and then we'd walk around campus or it'd be just me and her, just me and her. And she'd encounter people she knew on campus, all walks, like little tiny philosophy major, giant football players. She'd go, this is my dad, this is my mom. Like just so, and like, it was almost disarming. Like she was just so vivacious and full of life mm -hmm. with all of that stuff and not like, you know, because a lot of kids at that age are like, mm, my parents are here, or whatever. She was the reverse of that. Yeah. The reverse. Wasn't embarrassed. No, not in the least. Yeah. And uh, I just miss that smile and that, mm -hmm. that force of life yeah. that she was. I think we have to think about our young people if they are highly competitive, highly achieving, all these things. From their point of view, they don't necessarily want to reveal mm -hmm. a, a weakness or something going on in their right, life that right. isn't ideal. Right. It is going against the image that they feel their parents or their friends or everybody has of them. Mm -hmm. And that's also one of the core tenets of why Katie Save the Initiative exists, is to protect that type of kid. Yeah from being left alone and being left unsupported. And so this is designed to sort of help them help themselves in a way, right? For them to choose their advocate that they trust. So if they do find themselves in a situation, and hopefully they'll never, ever, ever need it, ever. Just enjoy your four years of university or however long you're there. But if they find themselves in that situation, they got a little help. Mm 